Hello everybody and welcome to Healthcare Sucks, the early morning version. And the uh a lot less bolder than I used to be. Actually, a hell of a lot bolder than I used to be. Because I'm coming at you with the facts, the truth at 4:30 in the morning Pacific time. And boy, you got to be bold to do it at that time on the <laughs> Pacific coast, my friends. Um, I want you to listen to this and then that's it for right now unless something I catch something else this morning But they're talking about it doubling this week guys. So all this hooey pooey that's been here on the other side It's hooey pooey. Here we go Patients from the same family in England have tested positive for coronavirus the first cases to be recorded in Britain and in case you didn't catch that, that's uh, two people, and they are from the same family. Okay, so uh, spread it, spread, yeah. The number of worldwide cases of this new virus has now surpassed the numbers in the 2003 SARS epidemic. Chinese officials say more than 200 people have now died, mostly in Hubei province where the virus emerged with almost 10,000 cases now reported nationally. Earlier, I spoke to Robin Brandt, who's in Shanghai. Well, it continues to spread uh, at a rate uh, every day uh, that is consistent with it just growing and growing at about 25 or 30 percent. We've seen these figures uh, across every day this week. Uh, today, the Chinese official government figures 213 people are dead. That's up about 25 percent on yesterday. Uh, the number of confirmed cases of people infected just under 10,000. That's up 20,000, uh, 20 percent rather roughly. And suspected cases, uh, that's around 15,000, up 25 percent. So we're seeing this double digit increase consistently almost daily uh, this week. So that suggests clearly uh, that the spread continues and continues at a rate that the Chinese officials are struggling uh, to contain. Nonetheless, uh, Hubei province and its capital, Wuhan, which is the epicenter city of this outbreak, uh, that city remains effectively shut off uh, to the outside world. It's very difficult to get in. It's very difficult to get out. There is enforced quarantine for some people there, an intense medical effort as well. But what we're seeing in other parts of Wuhan, a city of 10 million people, is being replicated in other cities as well, a kind of a, a self-enforced quarantine. People just aren't going out. Uh, there's obviously a concern about uh, uh, about getting this virus. And also there's just a broader concern about interacting with other people. That's even being replicated here in Shanghai, a thousand kilometers away. This city is very, very quiet at the moment, uh, barely uh, a soul on the streets. And we're expecting this weekend for the end of the Chinese Lunar New Year Festival, a time when tens and tens of millions of people are supposed to get back on planes and trains and come home. That will be a big concern because the worry is that will just uh, unleash another bigger potential for this virus to spread in this country. Robin Brandt in Shanghai there. Wuhan. In this one, real quick, I thought I'd throw this at you too. Um, they are having fly... Uh, planes fly in and out just to Wuhan with supplies but I guess the supplies aren't what they need to be or grade up to what they're supposed to be don't get me wrong don't look a gifted horse in the mouth but with epidemic type situations if you guys are going to spend the fuel and the time let's get them the right equipment guys come on you know if you're going to give stuff let's give the right stuff whoever's donating out there guys Get with it. You don't do it like that. Another aircraft carrying eight tons of medical supplies from Japan to China. It is just one of many international all-cargo planes arriving at Wuhan Airport since last Friday. Airport officials say so far a total of 40 tons of medical suits, masks and goggles from abroad have been shipped to Wuhan by air. In case you missed it, 
also my translate not that i translate i translate because you can read it at the bottom guys um he's asking for more planes and he's basically thanking it's coming from the middle east but again you're going to hear it's not i mean if this this goes out to the public this stuff that'd be super because this stuff's i'm sure better than what your public's getting but on a medical professional when you got doctors and nurses in there you need the good stuff you need to be safe well, safe as you can be. Despite civil aviation being shut down to contain the coronavirus, cargo paths have been widely open. It's a one-stop operation. Soon after the cargo plane lands, medical supplies will clear customs here and got delivered to hospitals. The supplies pass through a green line at customs without paying taxes. Custom officers have to go through all the required procedures but they have to get it done fast. Um, that's the way it should be. Come on, no taxes. Get real, guys. I mean, <laughs> you get to tax somebody when they're handing you something for free? Give me a break. Um, anyway, uh, uh, did you see the masks? They don't hardly have any protection, and then they're contacting the plane. I don't know. You didn't see the guys in the plane, so I'm presuming to assume that they're sealed off in the cockpit, I would hope. And then a team, when they land, come in and disinfect the hell out of the stuff before, you know. But this is me, you know. Healthcare sucks! Because healthcare does suck. And I'd rather see us survive this one, guys. Medical staff are waiting at the airport. In just one hour, donations are ready to go. Ooh. One hour, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like I told you, they're building buildings in like a week. They're, boom, passing stuff in an hour. Man, it's amazing what people can do when you take away the red tape. Red tape. China? Red? Eh, wasn't funny, I guess. All right. Wuhan Union Hospital is desperately in need of medical supplies. It's already midnight. Hospital staff are still sorting out donations, but they haven't found one box of supplies that meets medical standards. Hospital spokespersons say they are still grateful. And in case you didn't catch it, he said it doesn't meet medical standards. That's what I told you. In other words, to keep the people right dealing with the plague in the hospital safe. But he did say thank you. And I'm saying thank you because if you take that stuff and give it to the people, I'm sure, like I said, it's better than what they have. By the second day, the supplies will be handed out to patients and their families. The hospital is still searching for a solution to get more professional protection gear to its doctors and nurses. Zhao Yunfei, CGTN, Wuhan, Hubei Province. This is the building where the, all the cranes were a few days ago. That's how much has came up that quick, guys. Look. I mean. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. But that just shows what we can do. When humans need to get in together and really jam on stuff. You know, that's we could be taking a lesson from this right now. Because... Someday, in some situations, it's going to come here, and we need to kick ass like this, too. So, with that, remember, healthcare sucks! Over and out.